In this video we are going to discuss how we might go about sorting data so that it can be displayed in a leaderboard to try and finish off option C. So option C at the moment what we've done is we are um, going through our list of results and then we're printing out the points. Um, so one way to think about sorting is uh, if I just show you some documentation for Python is that there are some sort uh, there's a sorted function which you, we can use on a list uh, which sorts on the first element or there's a, a sort function which we can call on a list um, and that will also sort it uh, and then there are various ways of writing um, uh, or, or there's a there's a particular way of writing if we want to sort on a uh, a different element in a list so uh, if we already know that um, we can run sort or sorted on a list and it automatically sorts on the first element of that list then what we could do for our program is we can uh, rather than printing this out straight away we can create a list where we put the uh, score the, the points the number of uh, total points that somebody's got at the beginning and then we can sort the whole of that list into order just using the the sort function or the sorted function um, so rather than printing um, we could rearrange this code to actually add the data to a list. So let's um, see if we can do that next. So um, always when we're trying to create a list from the data, we usually create an empty list at the top. So maybe we can call this list leaderboard and have that as an empty list and we'll just remind ourselves that that's what it is empty list to hold um, score and so we still need a for loop to go through it um, and we can also just only add those um, people who have won more than um, one game that's what this test is doing so just as a reminder one more than one game so we can leave that in place um, and now instead of printing which is what essentially these lines are doing what we're going to try and do is add the score um, to the leaderboard so it's this um, uh, uh, converting the, la the value to an int and then multiplying it by um, three that's really what we want and then we want to add that um, at to the beginning and then add it to our leaderboard here so let's delete that for now and just uh, make sure that we're clear about this so we've created an empty list and we're going to use a for loop to go through each element of our results um, if the uh, number of games that the person has won is greater than uh, one or, uh, or is at least um, one it's one at least uh, one game then what we'd like to do is um, we want to calculate the score so let's uh, this is just a variable which is going to hold this last figure that we've got printing so we can do that by saying okay make the following thing into an int so the thing we want to make into an int is still held at position 2 so this is 0, 1, 2 so this is the name of the person, the number of games played in total and then this is the number of games won so that's what we need to multiply by 2 uh, multiply by points, sorry, which uh, will give us the, the total score now the next uh, usual thing that we do is we ju we normally say something like um, append uh, temp to the leaderboard 
But what we're going to do is we're going to say um, temp, which is the first, um, uh, which it holds one line. So it holds one of these um, lines here at the moment for one person. What we're going to do is we're going to say make that into um, something which holds the score as a list first plus whatever is in temp to begin with and what this is going to do is the only thing that this is going to do is it's going to um, convert score into a list and um, add to beginning of temp and what that means what that actually looks like is it's going to take this number calculation and it's going to put it right at the beginning over here and the reason we're doing that is because then we can just run one uh, we can just call the, the sort function or the sorted function and we can sort this into order of scores which will give us uh, our leaderboard so once we've um, created this line in the order in which we want it which is basically essentially the 18 coming in front here then what we'd like to do is we want to add all of that to the leaderboard so we do that by saying leaderboard dot append that new line that we have created with our scores okay so this is going to now add the line to our list so add line to our list okay so once we have that so let's just um, uh, go all the way back to outside of our for loop which basically means we go in the uh, same indented um, uh, um, hierarchy as the for loop is so it's exactly the same indent and what we'll do is we'll just return our leaderboards just so we can have a look at the um, uh, the final list so it should give us uh, something like this uh, still uh, but instead it should put this number at the beginning so let's uh, save this and run this okay so let's just call option C and there indeed I do have um, my list with the number the calculated number which is a score added to the beginning of each line and what's uh, what's great about this is if I say something like um, um, let's just say give it a variable name scores equals option C just for experimentation um, and so um, the leaderboard which has been returned is stored in scores so if I now say something like um, sorted scores then it should oops scores then it should um, display the lowest score first uh, which it has done so there's 9 12 15 and then it goes all the way up to 27 which is the highest mark so now all we need to do is is um, work out how to uh, reverse this so that it displays the um, largest value first so let's see how we're going to do that so having a look at the documentation we should be able to just um, say reverse equals true and that should give us our um, list sorted in reverse order so I should be able to say scores and then reverse equals true with a capital T and there we've got 27 appearing first which is exactly what we want and now because this is a list of lists we could um, quite easily just again use a for loop um, just for printing purposes this time and then print the information out in the order that we want so we pick out the um, leave the zeroth element to begin with um, pick out one two three four and then come back and display the 
zeroth element, the very first element, last. So let's um, have a go at doing that next. 